Hi everybody, it is June 22nd, 2018. Chris Haskell, an anti-geoengineering activist, a very powerful one, needs help. Needs all of us to have his back. Needs help with attorney fees. He was arrested. I'm going to link below to videos a plain truth dot info will be the first link and it will give you information that will help you help Chris in six years on YouTube I have seen so many people go down destroyed and seen few who try to help we have whistleblowers being arrested or fired their livelihood destroyed, their finances destroyed, they become targeted individuals. Chris Haskell is one of them. And if you don't know who Chris Haskell is, then please watch the videos. We have to find a way to change. We've got to find a way to change. Now, I'm posting this video as a destroyed life and I know the judgments people come up with I know that people can justify anything and they in their own mind will think that the individual has done something to have created the circumstances that they live. How does this relate to Chris Haskell? It relates to Chris Haskell in understanding the many justifications that people make. You know, it has been really interesting to me to live having been destroyed by a malignant narcissist who happens to be my mother on the scapegoat and watching the flying monkeys that she gathers to help her destroy one's life and my personal life experience has in many ways paralleled our collective life experience And as I have fought to not go down permanently and hung on I have seen that that's what those activists are doing as well. They do it for all of us, but there's so few out there. But everyone we lose, we become weaker. Everyone that can add themselves to the action part of this, we become stronger. And I've also, you know, there have been some specific reasons why I have hung on and one of them is because not because I'm all that significant but I understand the strength in numbers you lose one you become weaker you gain one you become stronger we lose Chris Haskell we become a lot weaker because he has been he's a man that nothing stops him and he does everything that he can to get the word out about geoengineering. Well, he gets arrested. I'll, I'll link below to the videos. You can listen to the details of what happened to him. Before I posted this video, I thought to myself, every time, every time I have posted videos on behalf of somebody else who's getting destroyed, I see the comments an awful lot of people, this is a PSYOP, and this person's part of it. 
He'd be dead if he was innocent. Whatever justification that that individual can conjure up in their own mind. Perhaps it's because they don't want to help. They don't want to do anything. So those justifications allow them to just go on living their comfortable life. I'm telling you, I am telling you now, unless you have suffered the consequences of what evil can do, you have no clue. You just don't have a clue of how your life can turn into a nightmare that's never ending. And the stress of it is phenomenal. You know that cartoon, Who Wants Change and Everybody Raises Their Hand? The next question, who is willing to change? And nobody raises their hand? We have to change. We've got to change. We have to find the courage to begin to take action. I got this comment just yesterday, and it's a comment that I have gotten so many times. Yeah, worded differently, but essentially the same thing. It was under my flash floods. Texas video where I said in that video that people need Texans, you need to confront the people who are involved in weather modification, you need to confront your town council members, um, municipalities, agencies involved in the weather modification. Every time I post a video and mention anything about action, I inevitably, inevitably get comments from people shooting that down. This one, contacting your government will put you on a list, plus what do you think will actually come from contacting your state representatives, who is blackmailed, not great grammar, but who is blackmailed with the use of child sex crimes, or they wouldn't be in office in the first place. If you want to contact some government off official, then go do it yourself, never lose truth. First of all, Everything that we're doing on the internet, every comment we post, every video we post, everything, everything we buy. You buy a book from Amazon, that is data collected and stored. They know everything about us. Do you really think that you're not on a list? Maybe this person. This person is on the useful idiot list. And they're going to allow this person to live long enough to be that useful idiot that allows these agendas to continue to destroy people. And I say that because you don't have courage to confront your town council members. You don't have courage to take action because you're afraid of being put on a list. That allows these psychopathic narcissists to continue destroying people. We have to find the courage. You gotta dig deep. The one thing that I have really experienced in my six years is seeing how few people take action. And my life got so destroyed that this is the only thing that I can do. And do you think I like admitting that? Do you think I enjoy posting videos, looking the way I look? It's a lot of shame. I'm experiencing so much now. Everything that sustained my life was gone in 2012. It's six years of living something that
Well, I had to dig deep to keep posting. I had to dig deep to keep posting. I had every time I post a video on behalf of somebody else, I've always included my face so that you can see and you can discern for yourself whether or not I'm sincere. Do I like doing this when I'm looking the way I'm looking? I'm aging rapidly. The stress of what I'm living now is beyond anything that I've ever experienced for reasons that I'm not going to get into now, but I know what it's like to have your life destroyed. And I know what it's like to face few that care. And I know what it feels like. I don't need to know Chris personally. I just need to know what has happened to him. And I can't not feel for him. And having been here for six years, I know a few people donate. I know a few people support those. And we've got to change. Please. This is a man that has really given everything. Not just for himself, but for all of us. <sighs> the noise here. Please find it within yourself. Please don't leave comments underneath this video claiming that he'd be dead if he was innocent, he's part of a psyop, he's this, that, whatever. Please don't. We really do need to change. We cannot manifest anything different if we stay the same. And I understand that we are up against something that we have never encountered before, the power of these incredibly evil people. I know what evil can do. I know it can destroy life. And it needs a force to confront it, to fight it. What we really need to do is come together somehow here and support those who, whether Chris is being made an example or not, it doesn't matter. He needs help. You don't have to know people personally to help them. My God, if everybody in this community even just gave a little, if everybody gave a little, so many people can be helped. How many times have I posted videos? I've seen subscribers of mine. They were fine until they weren't. I posted videos when a subscriber in Texas got flooded out, not from Harvey, but from the Army Corps of Engineers releasing the reservoirs in Houston and suddenly in a FEMA hotel and facing her family or her husband's family. The betrayal of these wealthy sisters just not doing anything for them, to help them. And then knowing that they needed help, asking people to donate and getting so few it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. And I will tell you, honestly, I'm going down. Now, I've needed the kind of help that you don't get from subscribers or friends. And because of my life experience, which is, which is different from a lot of people. And I don't know what it is. I don't attribute it to myself. But there is something in me that clearly is strong. And I just, I 
it's been very hard, very frustrating to be in a position where the only thing that you can do is post videos, so I've done that. And I'm not touting my own horn, tooting my own horn, whatever. Regardless of what I was going through, I didn't stop. I was, and still am, feeling a tremendous amount of shame. Getting worse. Experiencing things that really do cause a tremendous amount of stress. stress, And every day I think to myself, you got to dig deeper, you got to dig deeper. I literally go through life now every single day going, taking deep breaths. Okay, you're going to get through, you're going to get through. And I do what I can. And I have seen so many people who have not suffered the consequences of the evil yet they're comfortable and they do nothing so and yes I do it, it affects me personally to see people suffer these consequences and know that if they don't get the help they need they get worse. So please circulate this information and if everybody just in Arizona, God you have so many activists out there, you have so many people who have attended meetings, so many people who know about the geoengineering and the chemtrails and the toxicity everything that's being put in these in the spring if all of you just came together and got in line to be the defense that Chris Haskell needs that could be the saving grace if they're trying to make an example of people that's when we need to come out in force to show them our example. Why can't we do that? We can only do it if people change and begin to understand that the action that they take is so unbelievably important and sitting back and doing nothing allows more people to be destroyed. When you get arrested, when you experience what Chris Haskell has experienced then you'll know that it takes an extraordinary amount of money to survive the whole process the legal process and to come out okay and if everybody just could donate a little. I'm donating. I'm freaking out every day. I get $750 Social Security Disability. My rent's $520. Just got notice that the internet is going up $20. I know I say the things that anger people. I say it in the hoax that it might get you thinking. That's all. I have never come here to the internet with the intention to cause upset or anything. Thanks again.